Hey everyone, Luigi Brown here, and a quick disclaimer, um, so this video took a long time, so some things that Sonic Station 7 list are outdated, so this is just a warning, I'm sorry for the delay, it's taken so long to get all of this done, but without further ado, we finally have everything ready for you to watch, and we hope that you enjoy, so have fun! Hey everyone, welcome back to Sonic Station, and today we are here to answer your questions from the Q&A that I proposed <laughs> more or less a month ago. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I really wanted to make this really hurriedly, but it was kind of impossible because COVID-19 is happening and my schedule is changing a lot. So, I'm really sorry for taking this time to make the Q&A, but it is what it is at the end of the day. But, before we start, remember that this Q&A is being animated by my good old friend Luigi Brown. And so, I would like to invite you all to go to the first link in the description, to go to his channel and to maybe subscribe because he is an amazing guy and thank you very much. Luigi Brown for animating this video. Now, without further ado, let's answer your questions. I haven't read them, so this will be my first reaction to them. I have only ticked what I was going to answer, and now I'm really going to answer the first thing that comes into my mind. So, without further ado, let's get this started. So, first question comes from Fluffy Digby, which says, what got you into the Sonic franchise? Well, Digby, I'll call you Digby. What got me into the Sonic franchise was that it was the first gaming franchise that I played, to be honest. My first video game was Sonic 1 from the Sega Master System. And I played when I was 2 or 3 years old. And I found it really nice because, well, back in my day, we didn't have a lot of technology here at home. And that was really innovative, and it had an adventure, and it had Sonic. And Sonic wasn't even that fast in the Master System version, so it was a good game to get used to it. Then I remembered that my, my uncle, which was the one who gave me his Master System with Sonic 1, said that he never cleared the game with all, se all six Chaos Emeralds, yes, at that time there were only six. and. That really got me into the game, so I played it a lot until I cleared it with all the Chaos Emeralds. I saw the special ending, which isn't really that special to be honest. And it was mostly that that got me into the Sonic franchise. Another thing that contributed to that was that my second console was a Game Boy Advance. I think it's the SP model, you know, the one that opens and that has a uh, screen with light. Yeah, I think that it is the SP model. And I got my first game, which was Sonic Advance, and it was more or less for a year and a an half that it was my only game. And then I decided to get another game, which was Sonic Advance 2. I know, really. So I think that it was mostly only having Sonic games it made me go into the Sonic franchise. And then it was more or less around that time that Sonic Heroes appeared. And I remember that another thing was Sonic X. So I think that was the thing that really got me in this uh, Sonic franchise. Thank you for your question. Now the second question it comes from Jer, which actually says you on Discord for something. And he asks, how does it feel to have over 2k subscribers? Well, to be honest, it is a really nice number to have subscribers, I'm not gonna lie. It is really nice to have it, and recently we got to our goal, which was 2222 subscribers. This was the highest goal I had established for the year, and it feels really nice, but 
I really don't care much about the number, I care more about the people that I met and the connections that we have and the interactions of making a community. I think that is the best part because even with times with COVID-19, I think that we are really close and we can make some awesome things. So I really like having over 2k subscribers. Thank you very much for your question. Next, it comes from Freddy123. Well, you can see the number on the screen if, if Luigi Brown puts it. So the question is, who inspired you to upload videos? Well, it was not really who inspired me because I only I always like to make things related to technology but I think that a good youtuber which is uh, Brazilian is Vovo Balotensa I will send or put something here for you to see he's a, a channel that speaks Portuguese and he made videos about Super Mario World he made videos of Crash Team Racing and mostly live streams and I really felt like he had a good community and since I saw him grow so much because I was there more or less at the beginning I thought well I can really make something like this let's see what I like and yeah it was mostly this that got me to upload videos thank you for your question let's go to our good old friend Sonic Plasma and he asks is it hard to take care of a bird? Yeah, most of these questions, I forgot to say, were related to my pet bird, Bina, who unfortunately died at the time that I'm recording this. It was really exactly two months ago, and I really miss her, to be honest. But people are, of course, asking this because it is something that is quite peculiar since it, my bird was hand-created and really walked all around my body. So, it is hard, I'll say, if it is a normal bird, it isn't that much. You only have to feed him, maybe they yes, they no, and uh, change the water every day. If it is a bird that goes around the house, it's... It's really hard, to be honest, because you have to be really keen and you have to really pay attention to it because it can open, it can open the cage where it is and go around and maybe you haven't really created an enough bond for it to stay at home. But I would say it is more or less medium. I think that it is not as hard as a dog or... Yeah, a dog mostly because cats are always independent, but it, is, it depends. If it is a normal bird, yeah, it is really normal. You just have to pay attention and maybe know a place of a good vet because it is hard to find vets for birds, at least here where I live. So I think that you should really know a good one if something happens. Now let's go here to the next question and thank you Sonic Plasma for your question. What do you recommend that gets you viral? It comes from Retro King. Well, I think viral it's a bit subjective because it all depends on what you think you should make and what others think that it is popular. So I really don't think about things that get me viral. I think about things that I like to do. I remember when I started that one thing that really got me viral was speaking about Sonic Mania, because Sonic Mania was new at that time. I used to have the channel in Portuguese, so you don't, you won't see much, but you'll see that video. It has over 23k views, I think, and it was really what got me viral. But what I recommend you is not making things that, go, that get you viral, but things that you like. If you see that something is, some topic is being well spoken at that time, then you can maybe get viral at that time, but still, always make content that makes you happy. I think that's what I suggest for you and for everyone that is watching. Thank you, Retro, for your question. Now let's go to our good old friend Mephiles here on Discord that asks, what is the way to be succeeded on YouTube? Well, it is hard to be succeeded, succeeded on YouTube, I mean, it does not succeed, it is successful, but whatever. It is hard to be successful on YouTube, because nowadays we have a lot of competition. I mean, if you see, if you search only Sonic on YouTube, 
you have a ton of Sonic channels. I don't think that I'm really that successful, to be honest. I just try to make a place where everyone can be and enjoy their time. I think that's most likely what I really want to make and it's most likely what I am always going to make. Well, you can succeed on YouTube by making something different from others or by following the trends, but for me, being successful on YouTube is really being able to interact with you all. And for that, if that is me, if that means being successful, I think I'm being successful. So, basically, do what you think and successful to be honest I just try to make a place where everyone can be and enjoy their time I think that's most likely what I really want to make and it's most likely what I am always going to make well you can succeed on YouTube by making something different from others or by following the trends but for me being successful on YouTube is really being able to interact with you all and for that if that is me if that means being successful I think I'm being successful so basically do what you think and what you believe that is right to make have fun and interact with others because you should really take your time to interact with people and to know more about them I think that's what makes you successful on YouTube now let's go to some questions that come from my good old friend Crips. Crips asks, what kind of pets do you have? Okay, I had my pet bird as you knew. Unfortunately, she she passed away, so now I don't have her and I have a little dog. Uh, she she is more or less near and I'm most likely going to put a picture in here so you can see it's a, it is a French Bulldog she's really cute she's really nice and I really like her other than that I at the moment I don't have more pets nor do I intend to have because I have a really busy life and but I had some fishes when I was young and if I'm not mistaken we had one one dog and we had three birds so you can see that my pets don't don't go all that crazy to be honest now let's see the next question is what made you want to start YouTube basically I wanted to be more sociable with people all around the world and to get more experience with them so I decided to make YouTube to share the things that I like which is nowadays mostly Sonic since my personal life takes a huge part of my life to be honest and I decided to then focus my channel on Sonic so it was most likely being with you guys and having new interactions and meeting new people that made me start YouTube now the third question is what's your favorite Sonic characters well this is a good question to be honest my favorite characters are of course Sonic the Hedgehog which is me and I think that a nice one is most likely, um, let me think, it is most likely uh, Shadow, I really like Shadow at least till Sonic 06 because I think that after that it really got something out from it and I really like silver I remember when being when I was young that I played Sonic Heroes and I really liked silver to be honest thank you for for asking creeps now let's go to my good old friend tip which asks what's your favorite Sonic game well my favorite Sonic game eh, <laughs> that's a really hard one to be honest tip my favorite Sonic game is most likely um, it's kind of hard to be honest, but because I have a lot of Sonic games that I like, but I will say um, Sonic Advance 3. Why will I say Sonic Advance 3? Because I really like the build-up of that game, to be honest. And I think it's really interesting, to be honest, playing that game. It's not the best one, to be honest, but I played it a lot and I found it really innovative, to be honest. And it is most likely that. Yeah, 
I think I will stick with Sonic Advance 3. Other favorite games include, of course, Sonic 1 from the Master System. They include Sonic Advance uh, 2, not that much, to be honest. I remember really liking Sonic Heroes, Generations, Adventure 1 and 2, but I prefer 2. And another one that I really like is I said Unleashed. I really don't remember if I said Unleashed. Unleashed is the PS3 version, but the Wii one is also cool. I love Sonic Generations, and I love the classics: Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, uh, CD, and maybe my close, close favorite. Uh, okay, screw it. I'm going to change my favorite Sonic game right here and right now. In the middle of this Q&A, my favorite Sonic game is Sonic Mania Plus. I really like it, I love to play it, and I really want to play it more on my channel. Okay, that's it. Thanks for asking, Tip. Another question from Mephilis. Do you like Sonic and Mario at the Olympus game? Okay, I'm being a jerk right now, to be honest. But what it says is, do you like Mario and Sonic at the Olympic games? Yeah, I like, I think it's... A nice series. I never played much of it. I played mostly Sonic at the Olympic Games, uh, that is from for mobile phones. Which, speaking of which, middle middle giveaway here in this Q and A. It's this account that you can see right here. It has all characters with all power ups. It was my personal account. So if you really get it, you get it. Yeah, mid mid giveaway. I think it's really fair. And another game that I really liked was the Winter Olympic Games for the DS. I found it really innovative to have a story mode, and I played it at least a little bit. Now, thank you for your questions, let's move on to Blue Tails. Blue Tails asks, do you like Mario, and if yes, which is your favorite game? Well, I really liked Super Mario not as much as Sonic, and I don't know why. But I like Super Mario. My favorite game is Super Mario World. And I played on a GBA. Which is maybe worse? I don't know. But I really like Super Mario World. Next one is from... Oh look! It's from Luigi Brown. Don't forget to subscribe to him. He asks... How, do you meet Sonic? How did you meet Sonic Destiny and Sonic the Most Hedgehog? Well, that's a really nice question. I met Sonic Destiny when he arrived at my server, I knew, from, I knew of him a long time ago, and we kinda started to speak about stuff, and that's how we got to be friends. Yeah, it was most likely that. And Sonic the Most Hedgehog, I remember that she was obsessed with something, and my good old friend Sonic Land said that, and I tried to cheer her up, and we started to speak, and that's how things work. I really, I don't meet people <laughs> in that fabulous way, it's just something normal to me. And yeah, despite not speaking with most hedgehog, and now I really wish her the best, and yeah, that's basically it, and I still keep in touch with Sonic Destiny. Now, next question comes from Sonic Ring or Ring King, which asks, What's your favorite Sonic fan game? Okay, Sonic fan game. Um, huh, that's a tricky one. My favorite Sonic fan game is actually. Hmm. I will vote on Sonic Time Twisted. I really like. Sonic before and after the sequel, but I really, really love Sonic Time Twisted. First of all, it's a completed fan game, which makes it really, really good. And it is all original and I like the details, and it came out just before Sonic Mania, so I really remember playing it a lot. I find it really nice, maybe some things are not as nice as I remember, but it is based on a Sonic OVA, which is kind of important OVA to me, so I really like Sonic Time Twisted, and it makes me feel like Sonic CD has a proper continuation with Sonic 3 and Knuckles mechanics, so it is that, but of course, I can't forget my good old, I'm really speaking about original fan games, 
because if we are speaking about remakes, Sonic 3 Air is really good, and my favorite ones are the Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 SMS Remake, which are made by Creative Araya. I really like those games. I can grab them and take them wherever I want, and they are really amazing. So, if it is original, I will put Sonic Time Twisted with after the sequel right after, and if they are remakes, I will put first the Sonic 1 and 2 SMES remakes by Creative Araya, and right after, I will put Sonic 3 Angel Ireland Revisited. Our next question comes from Shadow Gamer, which asks, which is the most Sonic Android fem... Fe what? What was happening with me? Okay, what is the most Sonic Android fan game that you like? It is Sonic 2 SMS Remake. I love the first one. Trust me, it really brings me uh, nostalgia. But I prefer the second one because I think it is more creative and more original. So, Sonic 2 SMS Remake, definitely. Now, next question comes from our from my right arm here on Discord, MC Travi Travis YT. He asks, "Ever plan on getting a better recording setup?" Well, that's that's a really good question because the answer actually changed in the meantime. I was planning on buying a laptop uh, at the beginning of this month. However, we had here some fires and unfortunately my house was affected and some others, other things that we had were burned out and I had to spend all my savings on of course trying to repair my house. Uh, I know it's not the best thing but yeah I decided to help because I really like my parents but we are a family and we have to cooperate on these things and unfortunately I had to spend my savings so a better recording setup might be a little hard however a member of my family actually sent me a laptop it is a used one it is not a good one to be honest but I have already fixed it and I can record at least some more videos and the special series that is coming soon, I don't tell anyone. Yeah, so I'm really happy, uh, maybe in the future I will get the recording setup that I wanted to have, something good where I can live stream a lot of Sonic 3D games, but at the moment it is really hard, so we will see what we can get but at least it is not going to be only mobile stuff from now on so you guys know and I will wait for October to see some news if I were you but thanks for your question Travis okay next question comes from Sonicland he asks what do you have to say for your fans about getting 2.2k subscribers on YouTube well we made this question on August and actually we got over that number. Thanks guys. So what I have to say is thank you very much for well spending your time with me and liking to spend time with me. It is really good. Thank you for supporting. I hope that I'm doing a good job providing you content. Uh, they yes and they know and yeah, it's basically it. I really want to have more fun with you guys, and I hope that I am building a good place where you can feel in family with, with me and with the other members of the community. And I really want you all to be happy and to have success in your lives, and thank you for trusting me and for subscribing and for, more importantly, being here with me when I am good and when I'm bad, for the good times and the bad times. That really means a lot. Thank you, guys. Next question comes from Tip. Are you ever going to do a 5K or 10K subscriber special? Hmm. I like to make some odd numbers. So, maybe 5K and 10K is not. But maybe a special number involving these numbers will be. But definitely, there will be more specials coming soon. If you guys keep subscribing, of course. Next question comes from Tip again, and he asks, is English your first language or not? I wonder. No, it is not. English is 
not even a, <laughs> I don't know, I, I kind of learned English on my own because I remember when I was young, we had a lot of cartoons and everything was in English. Maybe that will be a story for another time. But to answer your question, my main language is Portuguese from Portugal, which you can say it is a good language and yeah, that's it. That's my main language. It's Portuguese from Portugal. And I will say thank you now in Portuguese to thank you for this question. Obrigado. Okay, next question comes from Chaos Hunter, which is How does it feel working with YouTubers like Most the Hedgehog and Destiny and others? Well, I never worked that much with Destiny. I helped him with some stuff and I still help from time to time. So that's it. Speaking working with most the hedgehog was good when we had a good relationship so i really don't have nothing bad to say and with others especially my real closest closest friends it's really amazing working with them because we can speak we change ideas and it is really the best so i really like cooperating with others and i also like working alone as long as you guys are happy with the content that we provide that's what matters. Thank you for your question. And another question is, it comes from Tip. I, don't know, I really don't remember if it was from Tip, the one before, but I think not. Uh, which is, have you played other games that are not Sonic? Of course I've played other games that are not Sonic. I played a lot of games and franchises that I like are for instance Pokemon, Digimon, uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball I really loved a lot. I will explain that maybe another in another video. I remember playing Naruto and in terms of platformers, Super Mario, Rayman. Rayman is really hard, the first one, to be honest. And I played a lot of Little Big Planet when I was younger. Yeah, I remember that. And Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Dexter, all kinds of those things. I I played a ton of games, I really like uh, also games that like Buzz, which makes you answer questions, I like those types of games. Games that I don't like are most likely first person shooters, I'm really not a fan of those. I like games with more story, and I really don't, don't like fut football games, I don't know why. Watching, fo watching football is okay, but football games, eh. It's not really a thing that I like. But thanks for your question. Now, next question comes from Green Hill Zone. Can you do a live stream? If you can, can you play Sonic vs. Chat? Okay, I was planning on making this live stream already, but unfortunately my life is a bit confusing at the moment. But we will have live streams coming soon, don't worry, I really have to find a kind of schedule for that. But we will have live streams, most likely on Saturdays. Uh, they will be special because I am traveling a lot, so they are not frequent, but yeah, we will have that. And Sonic vs Chat, maybe in the future, because I want to see first if people like the time that I choose for live stream and if they are cooperative. So let's go slowly, but eventually I will play Sonic vs Chat on live stream. Now, next question comes from Sonic Fan. Which one is better, Sonic Rush or Sonic Rush Adventure? Okay, my answer is going to be <laughs> not. Not the best one. Uh, I really don't like the Sonic Rush games <laughs> because they have two screens and I get dizzy. So I really don't like those. <laughs> but I remember that I tried both a little bit. Maybe Rush I I got to the middle of Sonic Story. Rush Adventure not that much, but I prefer Sonic Rush. I don't know why. I think it, that it is better, and I saw the the stages where you have to move the boat 
Dragon Adventure, so <laughs> no, no, that that is not going to happen. I will vote in Sonic Rush, but I think Sonic Rush Adventure has some creative levels and some amazing OST. Just like Sonic Rush, the Rush OST is really fire. Now, thanks for asking, Sonic fan. Next question. Next question is it comes from Travis again, which asks if it, if I prefer the Tokyo Toy Show or the pre WCS. I really don't know what is the last one, but I really like the Tokyo Toy Show. I think it it really it is really creative, and the second one. It looks just like Sonic 1, so I will vote on the first one, Tokyo Toy Show. I really like this, this iteration of Sonic 1. Let's move on to Sonic Ring, which asks, What will be my last words to Bina? Well, my last words to Bina... I don't know, I really don't have words, because we spent our last day together and she did all the stuff that she did in... In the last years where I was with her and I just hope that if there is life uh, beyond death I hope that she is okay and she was an amazing pet that I will that I will never forget yeah that's most of it thanks for the question and the funny one is if I like pancakes I never hate pancakes yeah I don't know how they taste Never hate pancakes. Maybe in the future I will. Next question. What is like seeing a toxic Soros Rex coming in your way? I really don't know. I mean, I never saw a to toxic Soros Rex. I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused. Just that. Next question. Next question is, can I give a shout out in my Q&A video? Yeah, you can give me a shout out. And if it is me, shout out to BB8. I think it is Toxic the Echidna, but I am really not sure and I, I don't want to check it out now. So that's it. Next question. How did you come up with the name Sonic Station? Man, I really have a lot of questions and I'm getting really tired of answering them. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Ben, for animating all of this. <laughs> well, how did I come up with the name Sonic Station? Well, it is... I really don't remember much. I remember my old channel's name, which was a pun uh, that we use here in Portugal. I'm not going to reveal it right now because it is hard to explain, but then I thought that I wanted to make a place where everyone could interact, and everyone could listen or see my content. So I thought it uh, like a station, and since it was about Sonic, it became Sonic Station. It is most mostly like that, and I really like the name, to be honest. It sounded well, it felt well, and yeah. I stuck with Sonic Station. Now, let's see. Uh, I think this is the last question. If it is, whew, thank God. And thank you very much for all your questions. I hope that this Q&A was good, at least. And the last question comes from Chase, which asks, will you go live and show, uh, and show sneak peek and play games? Okay, let's divide this a little bit. Will I go live? Yes, I will make live streams. And I already make content that comes out, like uh, like premiering, but I will make live streams. I just need to organize my schedule and show sneak peeks. I really don't like showing sneak peeks of something because when, I'm, when I start recording a video, I record it fully. So it's really not that important to have sneak peeks Maybe we will have in the future, but yeah, maybe not. And play games. Uh, Chase, I I already play games. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, it's mm, in, in short, yes to all, but maybe not as much as sneak peeks. And well, guys, I think this was the end of the Q&A. Well, it was really a long one, to be honest. 
but it really makes me happy to have this Q&A coming out and to answer all your questions. This kind of interactions is what makes me really happy, to be honest. And thank you very much for your support, it has been amazing. I have been trying to upgrade the, the layout and everything of the channel and the setup and it's really being hard to be honest but I won't stop until I do my best to produce the best content for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy the content as of now. We will try to make it even better in the future and well, I think that's it. So thank you very much for your support and we will have some changes coming soon. Maybe we will have a, a promoting, we will use more community posts definitely because we have a thing that I'm really not showing here which is our, our channel of art which is called Sonic Art. It has really amazing pieces of art and I decided to make community posts daily promoting that person's art and to showcase what that person makes which I think that it is really awesome from you guys and I decided that I will try to make weekly shoutouts of channels that I think that deserve to be more known maybe week yes or week no or all weeks they will come out in at Sundays and I will try to do that and to try to help you all because these times of quarantine are really hard to be honest and you guys really make my life better so yeah it's most yeah that's most of it so guys if you really watch till the end man you really are amazing thank you very much for your support and thank you guys for always supporting the channel I have been Sonic Station I will be Sonic Station and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care you guys and don't forget to subscribe to Luigi Brown, okay? Bye!